What's going on guys? Welcome back. Max here. Hope you're all having a great day. On today's episode of Makanuchi Monday, we're going to be checking out the fight from the Class A Tournament Finals. Ipo Makanuchi himself versus Alexander Volg Zangief. Uh, now, Alexander Volg Zangief, we're just going to call him Volg from now on, uh, is based on a combination of the Russian boxer Yuri Arbachakov, who's also known as the Russian hitman, and of course, the most famous Russian in boxing, Ivan Drago from Rocky IV. Anyway, guys, I know you're excited for this one. I definitely am. Let's go. ついに決勝戦を迎えたフェザー級永久トーナメント。夏から始まりいよいよ決勝の時、タイトルマッチに駒を進めるのは誰か。解説は現役で国内最強と言われるボルゾンさん。ウィス。ありがとう。ちょっ
Oh, that was nice. Got the guard up high, comes up underneath it. Ipo's already in trouble, they're like 30 seconds in. That's the thing, shelling up with your hands that tight. Kinda wants to be. Oh! Uh, kinda wants to be your last line of defense because you can't attack from there, right? Right up, go, pops it up, left hook after that, or is he gonna load up and throw the right hand? Left hook? Nope, here comes the right hand. Left hand cuts off the cuts off the side of the ring with that left hand. He's leaving Ipo that little side to go to. Oh, nice! And man, Ipo's getting beat up. Vogue's just trying to manipulate the guard a little bit here, punching to get the hands away from the face. There it is. Comes up underneath. There's that left hook again. Just relentless. This is looking bad. Yeah, even though like you saw before, like the super light tapping jabs, all that's doing is just making uh, Ipo guard up a little bit higher so he can open up underneath for the uppercut there. It's called like guard manipulation, is what it's, it's called. Hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. Alright. Oh! Right uppercut, left hook finally landed. He's been looking for that. He's been looking for that all fight, all 90 seconds of it. Wade plans on the back foot, gonna drive off that foot. Really wants to finish this early, hey? Does not want Ipo taking him to deep water. Yeah! Ipo with a ride of his own! His eyes are glazed over, he's just doing it on instinct now. Ipo is the king of the comebacks. No, he hasn't. He's still out of it. <laughs> he's just punching because he's trained like that. I say all these punches, like, when you get better at punching, you stop thinking about how you're actually doing the technique and it's only muscle memory because you can't spare any thought to your technique. It needs to be, uh, like, thoughtless, for lack of a better word. You need to be able to concentrate on what your opponent is doing and game planning for what you want to do next instead of thinking of, oh, this is how I throw my uppercut. This is how I throw my hook. If you're thinking, you're already behind. There we go. He's back to it now. He managed to keep Volg off him for a little bit. Doesn't even remember. He's not intimidated anymore. I mean, he is fighting the amateur world champion, so understandable to be a little bit intimidated. But once you're in the ring, there, there's no time, there's no space for it. Yeah, if Volk's conditioning isn't that great, a few of Ipo's uh, heavy body shots are going to take a real toll on him. Oh, that's that big body shot. Volk's a bit of an infighter, hey? 
Ippo's got the more power at this range, and he's got better conditioning too. What's Vol got on the inside here to deal with uh, Ippo's power? What's he got? Big, another big right hand to try and pop the head up. Nice, good counter there from Ippo. Ooh. I love how fast the ref gets in there between these guys. They'll be mid punch. Bell rings mid punch, and he's just there. A damn good ref. Yeah, that's a close one. But I still almost want to kind of give the round to Volg, just because of Ipo running away for the first part there. すんげえ緊張感。一覧で見ただけで汗びっしょりで。いやいや、両者とも凄まじかったですね。天瀬海王者に打ち負けなかったのですからね。幕の内の技術も大したもんです。俺様との練習の成果ってところだね。アドバイ
Oh, came up underneath the chin. <laughs> oh, man, I was expecting the body blow. But that's what happens, right? Ipo's thrown that body shot so many times that you start to expect it. That's when you can change it up. Ah, oh, yes, I love it. That's a huge mental win for Ipo. And going to be tough for Evolve. I don't think he's ever been knocked down leading up to this before. <laughs> I like how the katakana in uh, Takamura's mouth said Gazeru as well. Gazeru punch. punch. Drop low, crouch low, and then drive up with the legs. Being careful not to lift your chin up too high because then you get open to a counter there, but drop, boom, and up. Oh. Oh. <gasps> たった一つ疑うとすれば、それは優しすぎることだ。相手に情けを隠してしまう。うーん、いや、that <笑> Crazy he managed to get the hand to stop it. Oh no. Ipo senses he's hurt, he's charging in. Fools rush in, right? I mean, he's, he does have to push his advantage, and sometimes that comes with a risk, but. Yes, there's that other liver blow. You can see it on Volg's face, he's hurt. Yeah, his feet are not moving, they are just planted. But it means he can throw back a counter shot anytime. He's never off balance, he's just ready to throw back. Time to back up a little bit, Ipo. Nice dark. Not gonna work twice. What's Volg's answer this time? Just shells up, covers it. Not gonna work again. Ah -ah. Ooh, duck. Duck down is gonna get hit by the uppercut next time he ducks under that jab. I want to see what this this wolf thing is they're talking about. Beautiful left hook behind the guard there. Uppercut, drive. Oh, into that left hand, left hook. Oh. Oh. Throws the uppercut, pops that, it's that, it's that throws the head up, uh, throws the uppercut, pops the head up, and then follows with that left hook right after, as soon as the chin comes out from behind the guard. Bang, there it is. So the uppercut is a hard shot, but it's just a setup, right? Trying to land that left. And the pullback, so you throw the uppercut, the pullback from this gets your hips rotating to throw that hook. It's not just up, down, it's up, and then pull this down. So, wah, your hips rotate and you land that next shot heavy. Legs are wobbling, He's having a hard time standing up by himself.
<laughs> the ref is shocked. Mm. Good timing for Ippo. Doesn't even know where his corner is. <laughs> okay, so that's called the white fang, that up and hook, okay. That's why they're talking about wolves. Yeah, this is further than uh, Volk's ever been in a boxing in a boxing match. Someone else talked like that as well. Who was it? Talking about severing the consciousness entirely. The rotational speed and power to get that uppercut hook is crazy. And they kind of come on like the same trajectory, like up and then an overhand almost instead of a hook. Just boom, boom. Yes, someone is faster that almost can feel like it's happening at the same time. Sometimes there's not much to be said. Ipo knows what's up. Round three, here we go. Gazel Puncher, Kansan, you told me that. Koshai no finish, you wrote a Kanga de Ta Panchoda. Nipponi, a white of Hango, Tomer Tegane. Those are in the in the sky. Tokoto, Daki, the dash at the don't doubt Kamagawa, guys, a genius. Come on, most to Koto, you are Hakumo, you are Kobit. Kozonga, so much you do the Moketo take. This really is like a hard work beats, uh, versus talent kind of a fight. Hey, Ippo is a genius of hard work. And Volg is just a boxing genius. Even Volg looks a little cautious. Although walking into someone who hits as hard as uh, Ippo would be tough, that's for sure. Then plants the foot. It's gonna hit him on the way in. Oh, a wide stance. That's something you don't see very often. Look at his feet while like up in line. That's not a great way to stand. Can't wait till I'm old and don't have to run with the fighters anymore and can just ride on a moped. It's gonna be so good. Get ready to go on the attack. Yeah. Opening the guard up, inviting a few shots. Ooh. Opens the chin up, here comes that overhand. Oh, maybe not.
Yeah, gets in the middle there. Beautiful. Interrupts Volk's, uh, interrupts Volk's next shot by getting in the middle. Hitting him on that half beat. No, he's more durable than Vogue. This is his chance. Oh, again, that body head. Such a nice combination. Here it comes. Oh. Ooh. Oh, man. Oh, I thought that was going to be it. Oh. You can see that Ippo was out. I love how, like, that time he decides to stop it. Even though there's been so many times when Ippo's out on his feet and no one steps to him. A little bit of favoritism there. Damn, the sound of those jabs, they sound heavy. Oh, here comes the right hand. Just... Oh man, maybe Ipo isn't more durable. This is, this is tough. I like that Vol can do it off both sides. Leading in with an uppercut and then pulling back down for the overhand right is just such a beautiful combination. One more knockdown this round and that's it. Actually, one more knockdown, I think, in total, because that's been three now, right? <laughs> <laughs> no mercy, Kamagawa. Make sure he's there. Gloves up. Shindeinai, his eyes are not dead. <laughs> yeah, good call, ref. All right. Yeah, one more knockdown this round and he's done. Oh, this is going to be tough for Ipo. Drops that left hand. He's coming in for that. Yeah! Right hook. Woo! Vogue dropped that left hand. The right hook just comes right over the top. <laughs> Equals keeping him on that back foot, not letting him get a chance to throw anything. Just swarming him with heavy punches. This is why you do those rounds where you want to die on the pads. This is why you do them. So that when you're dying in the ring, you can keep on going. Come on, don't tell me he gets knocked down the last second. I was just about to say, keep going. <laughs> then Kamagawa set it for me. Ooh. 
Damn, Kamagawa got in there quick. He got in there even before the ref. <笑>ちょっと喋らんでいい。よく頑張った。練習通りじゃぞ。貴様の頑張りは取れなみよりに尽きる。そしてそれは必ず報われる。次のラウンド。間違いなく奴は真っ青になる。すごいや。本当にす
Ipo can't throw anything back anyway. <laughs> I bet the whole strategy is to just pull Homer Simpson. Let Volg punch himself tired. But Volg seems a bit like a Dredderick Tatum. He's just not going to get tired. <laughs> Nobody works hard. <laughs> oh, that's when he sparred with Miata. <laughs> See, Kamagawa sees the perseverance, he sees the hard work, he sees the the hard work genius that is Ippo. I think you guys know as well, the logo on the headgear is of a brand called Winning. And uh, I really want a pair of their gloves, but they're like $700 gloves. And all the boxes in this show have them, and I'm really jealous. There it is, opens up, he's gonna come to the body. Nope, he both throws back, yes! Ah, <gasps> uh, circle, big shot to the body. No, parried the right. Yes, Ipo! Just standing his ground, just swinging. Gets the guard up, don't go down. No, he's gonna step the foot, plant it, and come back in. No. Gets the clinch. Starts working the body from the clinch. <laughs> oh, I love the I love uh, Ipo and Kamagawa's relationship so much. Just the supreme trust that he has in it. Like he knows that Kamagawa sees something that he just doesn't yet, but he keeps pushing through to help him find it. Oh. Let's go, Ipo! <laughs> Normally, I like I can't pick which boxer I want to win, but in this one, I don't care. I want Ipo to win. Like, let's go, Ipo! I love this one. He's expecting or hoping for his coach to find him an answer. Oh, that shopping, right. Slips underneath it, he just falls down. What? Oh! <gasps> His legs gave out? His conditioning's wearing out. He's making mistakes. Could not have come at a better time. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, Ipo. Yes. Shoulders back behind the feet. Volg's off balance. No, oh, left over the top. He can't get his hand up fast enough. He's too slow to duck. This is where you need that hard work. Oh, 
Vault's just getting swarmed. He's taken into deep water. That's the thing, if you condition so hard and you're like 60% is your opponent's 80%, you can just max them and max them and max them. Eventually they're gonna come down and you're just gonna be able to stay the same and you're gonna be able to continue to apply that pressure. Colby Covington is like a perfect example of it. Or uh, Kane Velasquez as well. That just insane conditioning just beat everybody on pressure. Outwork everybody. <laughs> Five rounds in, the fight starts now. Yes! Happens a lot though, you don't see the real fight start until a round or two in. And in boxing, there's more rounds, so that like feeling up here can take a bit longer. Because he doesn't have the Dempsey roll at this point. He's gonna come to the body with it, maybe? No. Let him drive everything into his big gun. Ducks underneath, here he comes, he's loaded up. Is he gonna... It got blocked last time though, so is he gonna change it up? Come with the right hand over the top, hit him with his own white fang. Oh, steps in, drives it through the middle of the guard, right to the sternum. Yes! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Lifts him off his feet! That chest is wide open. So rather than driving up, he stays low, pushes with that back foot and drives all his weight through him instead of up. Oh, yeah, Vogue's feeling that. Yeah, Vogue's gonna have a hard time breathing now. <laughs> <laughs> no mouth got oh yeah Volk's just standing there Epo's getting inside those wide swings with the straights oh <laughs> yes, way to go, Ipo! ラムダよ。ボルグは素晴らしいボクサーじゃ。しかしそのまぶしい才能は時として優秀なトレーナーの目に合わせる。スタミナ切れを見抜けなかったのは決して大ぶりではない。誰だって光の中では影は見えなく
wobbly. Where's the count? I don't even know what they're up to on the count. He's never been in this situation before. He doesn't know what to do. Why do all the boxes have like tragic backstories? And people they're relying on, like people that are relying on them back home to win. Because now I want Volk to win. Morikawa just knows how to tug on the heartstrings. <laughs> There's the wolf. That would be terrifying, stuck out in the tundra like that and then just coming across a wolf. Oh, no thank you. No thank you. And now he is the wolf. Oh, come on, Volk. Now I want to see you get up. Let's go. Come on. Let's go, Volk. Let's get up. Shinx! <laughs> Come on, Vol Seven, let's go. Get up, get up, get up, get up. He's up. Oh. Way to go, Vogue. He dug deep, found strength he didn't know he had. It's a whole like, it's a whole redemption arc or a whole story arc in the space of two episodes. <laughs> but at the end, there is still the rookie tournament finals on the line here. Someone's got to lose. He might get up, but I don't know if he has it in to, to beat Ippo now, even with that white fang. Clinch, try and get his... Try and get his breath back a little bit, recover. He's just holding on for dear life now. Yeah, he's nowhere. Got none of that speed that he had at the start. But man, he's won some fans. <laughs> he's won a fan in me. Can't let him get back to his corner. There's the guards out of the way, though. Use the right hand and knock that guard out of the way. I bet the the bell goes. Ah, I knew it. I knew the bell was gonna go. Oh. All right, Vol gets a little reprieve. He gets to go back to his corner. He had that right hand loaded too, ready for that white fang again. Yeah, see, he had that right hand loaded. 
Take the take the momentum of getting that guard hit out of the way. Roll it. Come back up into that uppercut overhand. He's never had to coach him before now. He's always just kind of let Vogue do his thing. Their relationships developing over the course of the fight. Oh. Here we go, charging out. Last round. It's going to be the last round. It has to be. Yeah。Oh, this is his fight before Date too, isn't it? Because he goes into that fight. Pretty bad at it. Yes. Stand and bang, baby. Let's go. And the best fighters, I've said it before, are the ones that come back from adversity. And this is a good... Good test for uh, Vogue and for Ippo. That one sneaks through. Oh! Commercial break. <laughs> Everything's starting to happen in slow-mo now for these guys. Nothing, we can't hear anything but just the rush of blood in the ears. Oh. <laughs> Everything feels like lead. Can't move anymore. Gotta keep going. Both definitely coming out of this fight with concussions, that's for sure. Does Ipo have an answer to the white fang? It's a hard one to deal with. Oh. Cardio pulmonary. Who has better cardio, basically? Who can breathe better? Here it comes, that left uppercut. Woo! Terrifying looking punch. Slips, but still his heads are right there for the right hand. Bob underneath it. Duck. Yes, there it is. Duck out of the way. Yeah, 
Yeah, see, he, he cut before they were coming at base at the same time, but now. Oh, now he's probably going to hit him right as he breathes in. Yeah. Gonna go to the body or the face? No, it's coming up. Oh! <gasps> lifts the shell, lifts him off his feet! That's down, that's it. Game! Oh! Epo is lucky, man. If Volk had been able to throw that like he had in the first couple of rounds where it was just like simultaneous, that would have been it. Oh, he's getting up. <laughs> How? How is he getting up from that? There's no way. No, his arms are like lead. He can't pick them up. They're too heavy from all the punching. Oh, what? Did he get him up or not? He's up! I like boxing. <laughs> oh, he's not just doing it anymore because uh, he feels like he has to. He's doing it because he enjoys it. Yes, Epo! Woo! Yes! Oh, man, I can't believe Oh. Kill. <laughs> oh, I thought for sure Volk was going to stay up then. I had no idea <laughs> how he thought was going to come back if he did. He can walk, but he can't lift his hands up to punch anymore. <laughs> oh, and they're friends! Like he said he wished they could be. Aww. Oh man, oh my heart's pounding from that fight. <laughs> he wins and gets carried away on the stretcher. That happens too sometimes as well, but like uh happened to Joe Valtellini. He won a fight and had a concussion so bad that he had to sleep in a dark room for like three weeks. And uh, he never actually came back to fighting after that. And after this, Ipo's next fight is with Ad uh, Date. I I'm pretty sure it is. Date's all excited for it as well. People <laughs> getting carried away in the uh, in the ambulance. Five rounds, one minute twenty-one. Whoo! There you go, guys. Ipo versus Volg Class A tournament finals. Oh, man, what an emotional journey. <laughs>
hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, as you guys know, I love Makanuchi Monday. Well, I'm here for it. We'll always be here for it. But if you guys did like the video, make sure to let me know. Leave a like, comment down below what fights we need to watch next, and then subscribe so when we get around to doing the scenes that you want to see, you don't miss out. Until next time, stay awesome. Have a great day. Bye.